a group of girls and accompanying nuns made a unique pilgrimage to St. Peter's in February. We are 200, yes. So Monday was interesting when at the airport from everywhere, sisters came in with children and, uh, and the blueberries and uh, the red and navy blue sweaters. There must be about 1,300 children. We left the tiny ones at home because we have them when they are four, year old, four years old and uh, we took the eight, nine old children only. The nuns are the teaching sisters, Dominicans. They were celebrating a special occasion with children from their schools in the US, France and Germany. These are the sisters of Fanjo. That is their mother house. Their actual name is Sisters of the Holy Name of Jesus. And they celebrate their 40 years of founding, especially to retain the old mass. And they wanted to celebrate their 40 years of existence with a pilgrimage to Rome. The church is founded on Peter, and Peter is in Rome, and therefore, as the Archbishop always insisted, you cannot be Catholic without being Roman. That is the grace of the pilgrimage. There's a unique twist to this story. The Society of St. Pius X priests and the teaching sisters accompanying them are not in full communion with the church in Rome. They have maintained opposition to some teachings and implementations of reforms from the Second Vatican Council. Immediately after the Council, the relations with Rome began to cool down. There was a misunderstanding from both parties and it froze the situation. We can say that the problem with the fraternity is only a problem of trust, because there are people who pray, people who believe in the same things that we believe in. The fraternity has lived a stagnating process of separation from the Roman structures but they have their heart in Rome. I can assure you that, since I know them well. They remain in talks with the Vatican, aimed at achieving communion. In the meantime, they still look to the See of Peter. Rome is the Pope and it's the whole, it's a Catholic Church. Rome is our home. <laughs> Rome is the external expression of the spiritual church, which materializes, so to speak, here, which becomes tangible around the Pope and the relics of St. Peter. We have explained it to the children, and I think they have understood that here lies the continuity that goes back to the apostles. The Vatican granted permission to them to enter basilicas in Rome in procession. Here they were at St. Peter's Basilica to pray. Mass could not be celebrated. Just off St. Peter's Square in the Vatican's Council for Legislative Texts, this bishop has taken a particular interest in the process of unity. He says the pilgrimage is just one more gesture that shows that dialogue and the will for unity are moving ahead. Part of the solution's success is to understand that negative relations have built up. That is inherent to the Church. People who deal in one way and people who deal sometimes in another way. Evil is always present. But the Church is not that. The Church was founded by the Lord and is pure. It's been a long road of dialogue, but he hopes the goal of unity is in the not-too-distant future.